Hey guys, it's Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. It is currently 10.30 in the morning. It's a Thursday and I just have two classes today. My classes start at 3 p.m. So I only have auditing problems and auditing theories. Pero sa all theo, palagi kaming asynchronous. Like we never um, conduct video conferences. Ganon. So nagsisend lang ng mga video lectures yung professor namin. I think later we're gonna have synchronous classes for... Oh my god, what is this? Synchronous classes for auditing problems so i just finished doing my readings and taxation because i didn't finish it yesterday um we have a quiz on sunday and then we have recitation on wednesday so wish me luck for that okay you guys know that we had two weeks of academic break kakabalik lang namin ng saturday but right then and there i got sick as in like sobrang taas nung lagnat ko and then I was having sore throat and then sobrang bothered ako kasi akala ko may COVID ako. Pero hindi naman ako lumalabas. Pag lumalabas ako, nasa loob lang ako ng car, like I don't go out. Pagkakain lang ako lumalabas, ganun. Ayun nga, Saturday I was like super hot dahil sa fever. Um, I was hitting 40 degrees Celsius and I was so bothered by it. And pag nilalagnat ako talaga, yung parang ganun ako eh, like I can't function na talaga. So nagpaalam na ako sa professor ko if I can be excused for class. Pero nag-quiz pa rin ako and he said yes naman, pumayag naman siya. So ayun, hindi na ako umatend ang class yun nandun sa last class namin na pang 6 to 9 p.m. Because I really can't na. So ayun, nag na lang ako and actually parang um... Kahapon pa lang ako talagang na fully heal because um, turns out I had tonsillitis. Na, dati ko pa naman, nag, dati pa ako nagkakamero ng ganon. Pero ngayon, like it was something worse. I don't wanna go into details kasi medyo TMI. Pero ngayon, I just took my meds, I took my antibiotics, and of course, I just had a rest. Kala mo naman, eh, isang buwan nga kaming walang pasok. Pero ayun, basta nagpahinga lang ako. I don't know how and why I got it, pero um, I'm back and I'm better. I just want to remind you all to always take care of your health, both your physical and mental health. Oh, by the way, I kind of changed like the setup ng desk ko. Like, nilipat ko na siya dito. Before, kasi nandun siya sa may tapat na tapat ng window, pero palagi nagkakaroon ng langgam. Like, kahit tanggalin ko, araw-araw may mga bagong langgam. So, yung langgam na yun, nagkagaling kasi sa labas ng window. And I guess, it's because um, pag umaga, binubuksan ni mommy yung windows ko. So, I just decided to transfer this here. And then, my shelf is now right there. Ayan, nandiyan na siya ngayon. So, basically, pinagpalit ko lang sila. Pero, okay din naman to. Uh, maliwanag din naman dito. So, I'm just going to like, read a bit for auditing problems. Kasi 3pm pa naman yung class namin before I take a bath. Hey guys, so it is currently 3:10 p.m. and our class was moved to 3:30. Ewan ko siguro be same prof namin. I just want to show you this case that I got over the weekend. Oh my god, how cute is it? Like, it's Jehon from NCT. He's one of my favorite members. I know I said in the last video that I love Mark, pero si Jehon kasi yung unang ko na kilala sa NCT, which is why he has a special place in my heart. So 
actually it's just like a soft case and natatanggal din siya pero so basically yung binayaran mo is yung design ni Jehan marami pa mga ganito I will be linking it down below kasi ang cute niya talaga bala kong kumuha rin for my other favorite members Mark, Jungu and Taeyong and Ten pala bakit nakakalimutan ko si Ten customers account. Okay? Pag sinabi natin customers account, this is represented by the subsidy. Hey guys, so I just finished my class for today. It's 5.25 p.m. We finished with 35 minutes to spare. And I really like this class. Like, I know auditing is not the easiest subject, definitely. But I really enjoy learning it for some reason. Maybe it's because of Sir Bajang Ren. Because you guys know that the way he teaches, it's really hands-on and ano talaga as in yung parang sobrang detailed maayos yung pagkaka-explain I don't know I, I don't even space out kapag siya yung bro I enjoy learning with these kinds of professors and I know that you will as well so I'm hoping that if you are studying in PUP if you're currently like a freshman or a junior or like someone who's applying for PUP BSA I hope he gets to be one of your professors and oh, sir, sana panoorin mo to. I think I'm gonna watch a start up. Kasi hindi pa ako caught up sa latest episode. Kasi, di ba nga nagkasakit ako? Eh, lately, tinatamad ako manood kapag ka, ano, masakit yung mata ko agad. Hey guys, so it's currently 11.45 in the evening. I feel so guilty for not studying tonight. I spent some quality time with my family in my uncle's house and hindi ko na vinag yun. And like, I was originally planning to study for golf or tax, either one of those tonight because my quiz came on Sunday and it Saturday, but I wasn't able to do so. And I feel so guilty for wasting like four hours. Ano na ko eh, like, if, um, Things don't go as planned. Things don't go the way I plan it. Like, I always tend to punish myself because I know I could have done better. In this degree program, it's just like so hard when you're not doing anything and you're you're gonna feel guilty and you're gonna feel like you don't deserve a break. It's just like it's so tiring. To be honest, I'm losing motivation these past few weeks to like study. Like, I mean. Yes, I do attend my classes. Yes, I do submit all of my works ahead of time. Pero, like, to actually study more than what is required, I just don't have the drive for that. I haven't had that in weeks, and it's so hard. Because, ang buti na lang talaga na move yung midterms. Because this week, dapat midterms week na namin. And imagine, like, I can't be in this state. So, pumirap lang talaga. If you're watching this, please know that it's okay to take breaks whenever you feel like it. Always listen to your body, listen to your mind, and don't force yourself to work, don't force yourself to be productive 101% of the time because we're in the middle of a crisis, a worldwide pandemic to be exact. It's okay to not achieve all things at once. It's okay to not finish everything in one night. And don't be so hard on yourself. That's something that I still have to learn. And 
That's something that we all need to remember. Like I can't even watch a single episode of K-drama that is 1 hour and 15 minutes long. Because I always feel so guilty for spending that time watching rather than just doing something productive. I don't know what else to say guys, pero... Ayun. I'm just so... I just feel so tired. Unmotivated. And... Weary. Good luck to all of you sa mga online class nyo. Always take care, please. And don't forget that I love you. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys. Sorry for tonight. But promise tomorrow will be better. There's gonna be better days for you and me.